Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday and it is a big day for upgrade packs because I'm sure you all remember what the last two Mondays have brought on FIFA 23. We had back-to-back -back big Monday upgrade packs with the 86 Max Icon and the Max 87 Hero. Now the pack that's in question today is an 85 plus Team of the Week upgrade pack. This was added to the code a few days ago and it is the number one front runner as a favorite for a big upgrade pack SPC that we could potentially be getting today. So I want to take a look at that possibility, but also potentially that SPC could be maybe Tuesday instead of today. We'll talk a little bit about what to expect today on Monday and how it's actually a little bit more of a question mark than I really think most people are expecting. So we'll talk about that regular upgrade packs, hopefully player picks returning today. That would be very nice. And of course, we have to talk about the market because price is all over the place continue to be pretty low if you take a look at some of your most meta gold cards will we see a slight rise today will the market rise over the course of this week we're going to talk about all that in today's video and more inside this out of positions promo so if you're excited for the video hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's talk about the pack that is on hand for today the 85 plus team of the week player pack now hey it's kind of nice that instead of a max rating ea has now said hey we're going to give you at least this rating or higher for this next upgrade pack that they have put into the code now i want to note a couple things People that think this SBC is coming today uh, are following the trend, and I think there's a very good, I guess, likelihood of this coming today. It's following the trend that over the last two Mondays, we have gotten some pretty big upgrade pack SBCs. Now, they both have expired now, so they're going to be a bit harder to find here in Footbin, but if we go all the way to the bottom, we'll see Max 87 for Hero Upgrade, 73k, of course, that SBC, everybody went crazy for it last Monday on FIFA. Now the question is, are we going to get another SBC like that today? And will this 85 plus team of the week player pack replace it? Now I have thoughts and I do believe that it very well could be that replacement. And that's why I want to talk to this SBC, but also I'll reserve some judgment because it also might be something else. Reminder that we still have a regular base icon pack and a regular foot hero upgrade pack added to the code. And we normally get team week upgrade packs on Tuesdays. We'll talk about that more in a second. But let's talk about this SBC because I feel like it's a 50-50 shot today or tomorrow. An 85 plus team of the week. I'm sure a lot of you guys can think this through and realize it might be a worth it gamble with guys like Mbappe, Neymar, De Bruyne, Holland, Salah, Son, Usman Dembele, Tamori, Jao Cancelo. A lot of really great cards we have had that are 85 and above that have been in team of the week so far already this year, right? It's only six team of the week, so it's a pretty small player pool. But just like any other gamble pack, there's a a lot of guys in here that you probably wouldn't get too excited about but even some of the lower tier cards Jude Bellingham right 86 rated Lautaro 87 Pedri is not terrible is an 86 um, Casemiro is a 90 Kai Havertz is an 86 Chiro Mobley Donnarumma like yeah there's a lot of cards that are in like the 20 to 30 to 40k range out of this list of all of the informs that are available and packable from this SBC which should make the SBC in theory a little bit cheaper, but I think there's going to be a lot of demand for this as well if it is priced right. Now, let's talk about a price here. Since that hero pack that we just looked at was priced last week around 75,000 coins, and of course, heroes are really popular and pretty rare. A lot of them are expensive and also a good amount of them are cheap. How would a 85 plus team a week SBC compared to that. Now, I have a little bit of a hunch on this that maybe this SBC is going to be more expensive than the 87 Max Hero was. And I know it seems a little bit crazy, but you know, you have an Mbappe card that is in this current team of the week that is about 2.1 million coins, which I think is is honestly pretty low for an Mbappe team of the week compared to what his gold card price has been. You've also got a Neymar in here that's 1.3 mil. You've got two cards that are above a million coins. And you know, last week with Heroes, you only had one hero card that was above a million coins and you also have some informs that are in the bottom of this list and in the middle tier of this list that are still really really solid card like again you know a marquinhos at 340 360,000 coins for an 89 rated marquinhos card some of these informs are probably a little bit too expensive for their own good um but i just think this is an sbc with the small player pool of um high rated informs that have been released in the game so far there's a lot of potential for people to be very very intrigued and want to gamble on a pack like this so i i think it's not more of a question of is there demand or hype for something like this it more comes down to what is ea going to price it at if i had to guess 
I'm going to throw 90 to 100,000 coins out there. I, in my opinion, think that's going to be a little bit expensive for me, but I, I think that that's my, that might be where EA price it with where Mbappe and Neymar are. And again, you've got a lot of cards between the 100 to 500K range here, as you can see. Then you've got a few at like 50K to 100K. And then you have, of course, a lot of them that are under 40,000 coins, which of course is always the bottom tier of a gamble pack SBC. You get, you could very well get somebody that you don't want, but I think that 90 to 100,000 coins seems pretty fair. So if you think about that price for this SBC, what are you thinking for? What's it going to require, right? I would imagine that it's going to be somewhere around you know, an 85 rated squad with some maybe higher requirements inside of it, they might require a team of the week card for this 85 plus team of the week. If you think about it, right? EA every single week now has been given us this 80 plus team of the week upgrade, which has been, especially for the past two weeks, I think it just expired yesterday, but it has been repeatable. 10 different times and EA from their standpoint, okay, people have been able to do this SBC. They've been able to stock their club within forums. Now we can keep requiring in forums in an SBC like this one, an 85 plus team of the week. So I wouldn't be surprised if they made it like an 85 or an 86 rated squad, you know, an 86 rated squad with an inform requirement would probably be a little bit too expensive, but maybe an 85 rated squad with an inform requirement. I just feel like something to get us around the 90 to hundred K range is going to be where EA prices SBC. So if you think, about it would that be an SBC you'd want to do and gamble on with the players that are inside of this now again I do think there will be hype for an SBC like this but also if you think about it heroes and icons are a lot more elite and people would be way more willing to gamble on a pack like that in my opinion than some of these inform cards um that's just maybe my thought process because informs aren't as cool as icons and heroes. Now, of course, it's cool if you pack Neymar and Mbappe, but for most of us, all, basically all of us that are not going to pack either of those guys, not as cool as a hero or an icon are these informs, in my opinion. So again, it does depend on entirely the price of the SBC, but I do think that SBC fodder could rise on the low to mid tier end. I like the 84s, 85s, 86s the most, maybe even 87s. Um, if it is that 85 plus team of the week that comes out, because I think the lower to middle, middle tier stuff should move the most and should do well if this SBC is dropped today. Now let's talk about the informs themselves, right? I actually traded with one of the informs that's in question for today's SBC yesterday because I saw his price drop down a little bit. I think there were some people that were maybe panicking a little bit right before uh, the they were maybe thinking the SBC was going to drop on Sunday. I bought a Mohamed Salah yesterday at 548,000 coins, sold it for 597. He's right around 580 right now. Watch out for panic selling because people are expecting this SBC today. There's a lot of hype around it. People know we've had upgrade packs on the past two Mondays. So there is hype for the 85 plus team of the week today. Watch out for panic selling on informs, especially your middle to high tier cards. I mean, if we take a look and through some of the other cards on this list that, you know, people could be panic selling today. A guy like Rafael Leao with the Serie A being the most popular league right now in terms of what people are building their squads around with the Chiesa SBC and with all the other special cards from the Serie A that we've had recently. You know, watch out for this Rafael Leal card. Watch out for a Ben Yedder. Watch out for Barella's inform. Angel Correa. All of these middle to lower tier informs could be in danger of some panic selling today because people are expecting this SBC to be coming out. And it's a very popular SBC that, of course, people would probably want to take a gamble on. So you might see some panic selling on informs today. If the panic selling is pretty severe, I think it is very safe to say, especially since like literally all of these cards are out of packs, except for Usman, except for Mbappe, and even those are probably going to end up being pretty safe. A lot of these cards, I think it would be pretty safe to buy in the panic selling buff by before 6 p.m. today. The only reason that they would drop even further is if EA somehow supplied these guys tradable on the market or if the drop weight on any certain specific cards was super duper high. But if there is very sizable amounts of panic selling today, I'm talking like down 15% or more, 20% or more. I think it is a good idea to buy in that panic and watch them rise after the SBC could be released or if the SBC doesn't get released. Now that's for the higher tier cards, like guys that are like maybe 50,000 coins and up. Let, let's say, you know, you, you're looking at a card like, you know, Jude Bellingham. Well, he's in the current team league. That's not a good example. Somebody who's out of packs, maybe you will say Pedri or Vlahovic, right? Pedri is one of the cheaper cards in this promo team. And a lot of people are not going to be super excited if they pack it from an 85 plus team of the week. 
he is like 21,000 coins. A card that's on the lower tier that maybe still has some demand, maybe a Leroy Sané, maybe a Lautaro Martinez or a Jude Bellingham could be included in this conversation. If there's panic selling on those guys today, those are going to be pretty popular cards that will be packed from the SBC a lot, right? Think of it this way. The cards that are not going to be packed a lot, your higher tier, higher rated ones, Holland, De Bruyne, Neymar, Mbappe, Son, Marquinhos. If there's panic selling on those today, buy those in the panic selling. If there are card prices dropping for these lower tier guys, which I would absolutely expect, maybe Delict, maybe Gakpo, these guys that are going to get packed a lot more, let those guys drop after the SBC is is released because people that maybe have them in their teams tradable um, and since they're going to be packed more often from this pack this pack of course the 85 plus team of the week they would probably drop a little bit and then rise later think about how the heroes did last week right your most top tier meta heroes rebounded really quickly your lower tier ones went down a bit further after the SBC was released like dudek and then ended up bouncing up later so that is how i think the inform prices would fluctuate today if the SBC does get dropped on the market and there might be a little bit of just not panic but there might be a little bit of hesitancy on the market in general today with this SBC potentially coming we'll talk more about that in a minute but here's the other conversation we have to discuss today is what if the 85 plus team of league upgrade does not drop today. And I think there's a little bit of a potential for that to happen as well, because in the past couple of weeks, what we have seen is that 80 plus team of the week pack is our like, it's our weekly team of the week supply, right? Let's go find that SBC. 80 plus team week upgrade the last two weeks. We've been able to do this 10, 000, 10 times each, and it's been 13,000 coins per time, which is not that expensive. And it's made fodder go up, right? We've made a lot of coins off this the past couple of weeks. In the current pack code, I just went back and looked through all the pack code that's been added recently. There are no new packs that have been added for an 80 plus team of the week for one through six, right? The only team of the week pack that includes the current team of the week is this one, the 85 plus, which has me maybe thinking that this SBC might just be our team of the week upgrade pack this week, and it could actually drop tomorrow on Tuesday. So we're going to have to see what ends up happening with content today. But if we don't get the 85 plus team of the week today, what's that going to do? Well, it would leave the window wide open for another 86 max icon or an 87 max hero SBC today. And again, I'm not trying to say that you need to be scared about your heroes or about your icons. I mean, the potential here is not that high, if I'm being completely honest, for something like this to happen. But if EA re-released the max 87 or the max 86 icon, you know, that could be something that we see today. And then the Team Week SBC could end up being later on this week or tomorrow on Tuesday. So just kind of be careful with that. There might be a surprise today on the market. Of course, uh, I think a lot of people are expecting the 85 plus Team of the Week, but we will just have to see. So keep that in your mind. Maybe that's how the, the game will shape out today. Really, it's one of those Mondays where we don't have anything super concrete. Last week, we really knew what was coming with the hero pack. This week, it's a little bit more up in the air. But the 85 plus team of the week is what most people expect. So we'll see. But regardless, today on Monday, the content sets the stage for the rest of this week on FIFA 23 because it's also regular upgrade pack day and with some pretty fun looking cards and some pretty solid SBCs out to be able to craft. Kiesa, Barkley, you've got a couple icon SBCs that people are interested in. Upgrade packs today need to be solid. Whether it's the 75 plus player pick re-releasing just like it was last week during rule breakers, or if they give us an 80 plus uh, pack for an upgrade, hopefully we get a good value upgrade pack today. I'm assuming we're going to get some sort of upgrade pack and hopefully it's the player picks because we love player picks, of course. But if today on the game is a W content day, I would expect to see prices maybe going down a little bit. I think you could potentially see some drops in price on the market if the if the content is really, really good. And when I'm talking about the market, I'm talking a lot about your meta players, your most popular cards, like the brand new out of position players, some of your gold cards, of course, that have taken a hit in price in the past couple of days. Gold Cristiano Ronaldo is down to like 416,000 coins. Like he may, he may be up a little bit right now, but you know, he's still low. Like he's down a lot a lot of your gold cards are down a lot as well if the content today is a w then some of these card prices may not rebound as much and only have rebounds in more specific areas 
um, if the content is a big W today because that would drain some more coins off the market and would, again would get people away from buying teams and instead interacting with the content a bit more. But if the content today is a surprising L, if it's kind of quiet, if the upgrade packs, like let's say we get like an, a 75 plus player pick and that's like all we get, then I think you would continue to see some of your gold cards um, and your out of position players potentially rise up on the market. Now, of course, it is a Monday, so we're expecting a little bit of a market rise regardless. And as I'm looking at prices right now, heading into today, I'm seeing some of these out of position cards that are back down again. Cancelo yesterday on Sunday was 570K, rose up to about 620 uh, two hours after content, I believe it was, because he had a nice rebound in price because yesterday's content was not super crazy, right? I, we had on stream, we bought Teo Hernandez uh, for about 300,000 coins. He went all the way up to about 330. Right now, he's back down again, close to 300K. I have spent a lot of coins tonight buying some potential cards that I think could go up a little bit this morning, splitting it between maybe some gold cards, looking at some uh, of the out of position cards as well. Just look at some of these cards that maybe you believe people might wake up today after getting some weekend league rewards and want to go out and try. Dumfries is 80k right now, unless it's a foot bit undercut. It's a little bit of an undercut, but like some of these cards have gotten pretty low again as we take a look at these prices. Like I just mentioned, Teo, Cancelo, Perisic is still around 111,000 coins. Reese James is down a little bit. Uh, Treore is down. Madness with Treore, Berardi, and Vasquez yesterday on the market and Sal because EA released them early. They got supplied a bunch, but they're still pretty popular cards. You know, watch out for these mini with these cards today on Monday as well for a potential market rises. People go out in the game and maybe try these brand new cards that they didn't have a chance to do much with yesterday. Watch out for your Bellingham inform. I think could rise a bit today. I think you will have a bit of a market rise, but again, um, with this 85 plus team league pack and people just knowing that Mondays have been pretty big content days in general, I, I think that you would see maybe a slight bit less of a market rise. But since the market has been down so much recently, uh, I do believe that there should be a little bit of buyback today after it was a pretty crazy weekend uh, of people opening that 100k pack tradable in the store. I ended up doing it yesterday. I got sucked into it. And it was a big L. So like we tweeted out on Saturday, big scam pack for sure. Uh, but I believe that that promo pack goes away. I think it's actually out for like the rest of the week. But of course, every day that goes on, less and less people are going to see that pack and be able to open it. So I think the market should do pretty well today. If you want to keep it safe and you don't want to trade with any of these guys that are in packs, like I said, watch the out of packs informs. I think this could be a pretty pretty big money making opportunity today on the market is some of these earlier on informs from early team of the weeks. If there's panic selling on a guy like Marquinhos today, if there's panic selling on, let's go for a little bit of a cheaper option. Maybe somebody from an early team of the week that's a bit cheaper in price how much is Chesney because Chesney right now with with the Serie A being pretty hyped you know a special goalkeeper with the Juve links Fulpin has him at 44,000 coins at the moment and he's a pretty rare card yeah for sure I mean he's gone up a lot in the past couple of days but again with the Serie A being very hyped at the moment if this guy let's say Chesney drops down to like I don't know 37k right he would that's where he was on Friday before all the Serie A madness kicked in and of course with Chiesa being out if he goes back down to like 37k today in the panic selling that would be a card that I'd be like okay we might be able to trade with this guy with some panic selling. Maybe you watch out for Immobile, Kai Havertz is in form, Barella, Modric, and again, the Wissam Ben Yedder, the Valverde, the Rafael Leal. I do believe Valverde is down a little bit extra if you're wondering why he's dropped off a lot too. Valverde is in Player of the Month voting again for La Liga, and we should be getting a La Liga Player of the Month, I think, towards the end of this week. So that's why his price is down a little bit there too, as people expect another potential promo card or special card. Uh, for that Valverde card. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market today. It's kind of like a wait and see type thing, except for if you see a lot of panic selling on some informs today, I think there could be really good profit potential. Now, I will say that I did end up buying a couple ones to watch cards yesterday. I bought two Anthony OTWs because guys, literally after every single game, even if a player or a team hits a threshold win, like yesterday, Manchester United won 1-0. And of course, that was the third win that this OTW Anthony needed to get his upgrade. On Wednesday, this Anthony card's going to go from an 82 to an 84. He was 290, I believe, thousand coins. 
um, like right before the game, 300,000 coins before the game, they win the game. He goes down because people always think to sell these cards after the games. It literally doesn't make sense. Almost nine, nine times out of 10, almost every game, these cards go down in price after a game and i picked two up i picked one up for 260 and i picked one up for 267 i think it was in a quick snipe and he is back all the way up to pretty pretty darn near 300,000 coins he's getting pretty rare and he's rising back up that was a pretty safe pickup uh for me that i'm going to be holding probably until like tuesday unless his price goes pretty crazy bananas but i think anthony and richarlison are the only two otws that got wins to watch upgrades this week so the reason why i mention this is it's a champions league week as well so if there's panic selling today because of whatever content or even tomorrow whatever content is released watch out for your road to the knockout players especially for players that are maybe on one win that are looking into potentially getting their second win for an upgrade or if a team is on the bubble of getting upgraded again you kind of have to take a look at some of the champions league groups and the stuff like that and maybe europa or conference league but for some of these guys the third and final upgrade for rttk cards is happening this friday i know it's a couple days away but that would be a, a corner of the market right now that is doing very good like a lot of prices on these cards are pretty high and i think that they could be hitting some of their peak prices right before this final upgrade because after the upgrades all take their place as we see with a lot of ones to watch cards over the course of the year and of course with these road to the knockouts as well a lot of what keeps people really interested in these cards and their prices up is the potential for the upgrade once they actually get the upgrade a lot of times you see the prices fall off afterwards because wow there's no more fun right aspect of the card that it can't get upgraded anymore so definitely keep an eye on these this week i think they'll be pretty big money makers um on the market and then just again the normal market fluctuations and the normal trading grind you know i will say this week if you're trying to grind the market a bit keep an eye on icons keep an eye on heroes it's not the fancy stuff but it works right those rare out of pack specials and then same thing with like chemistry and position change trading methods i mean guys like this promo is literally all about position changes you find the right card like this dumfries he goes for about what 82k so we just looked at 81, 82,000 coins. His all, he's got center back and center defensive mid. And maybe with the shadow, he sells for like, I don't know, 87K. I'm kind of making this up here. I'll see if it actually works. With the shadow, Dumfries sells for like 85K. And there's not very many cards above that. There's an 88, 87, and 85. And with the CDM position change, it looks like he sells for a bit more as well. Not too much, but if you find the right card, especially if it's a brand new card, if it's an attacker, a lot of people try to fit attackers in their teams in different ways. Maybe it's the Berardi, one of the brand new cards that was dropped. Like you can do these kind of grindy position change trading methods because they honestly, they they work, right? Berardi is 61,000 coins. That was actually a position change as a striker right there. Berardi is about 63K, you know? So maybe Berardi is a center mid since he can be moved in all these different places sells for a bit more it looks like a centerman berardi sells for 68k so if i can get a centerman berardi for like 61 right or maybe a center attacking mid for 61k i know i might be able to sell that for 68k and make a couple thousand coins of profit so i know i shot out the position change and the chem style trading methods all the time but again that's literally what this promo is perfect for since a lot of these players have multiple different uh, alternate positions and a different starting position as well for a lot of these cards so that's kind of the video for today i hope it was very helpful for you guys and i am very curious to see what happens today on monday content wise will it be the 85 plus or will ea drop the ball maybe do something different we're going to be on twitch looking at it and of course watching the market to see how everything reacts today at a delayed content time once again for the rest of this week uh, especially if you're in the u.s uh, content time might be an hour different whatever it was yesterday it should be that same exact time today and throughout the rest of the week until those clock clocks change wherever you live for daylight savings so just kind of keep that in mind throughout the rest of this week but if you did enjoy the video smash the thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out